Hey everybody, it's Maya here from MayaPalmerDesigns.com with another design tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a freebie opt-in page using Flowdesk. It's pretty simple, so this will be a quick, quick video. So in last week's tutorial, I showed you how to create a checklist freebie using Canva. Once you have freebies created, you'll need opt-in forms for each freebie so that people can subscribe to your email list and then be automatically emailed the freebie that they signed up for. So I'm going to sign into Flowdesk and then I'll show you how to do it. When you first sign into Flowdesk, you'll probably be taken to a page that looks like this where they're showing you templates to create a new email, but we're not creating an email right now. So what I'm going to do is quick click this Flowdesk logo in the top left and then it'll take me to my emails page and from there I can select forms. I've actually already created the form that we're going to create today before so you'll see that it's already there but to create a new form you'll just click this create new button. Flowdesk has a template that's pretty much for sending freebies and so I'll use that form template and click customize. Now here's an important part to listen to. When your subscriber enters their information to get the freebie you're going to want to tag them with a certain segment so that your email marketing platform knows okay this person just signed up for this particular freebie and now we need to send it to them so you'll see that it says subscribers who opt into this form will automatically be added to the segment and you can select multiple since they're signing up for my brand and website clarity checklist I want to add a new one, a new segment that says Brand and Site Clarity Checklist. And the reason this segment is important is because in my next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up the automated email to send the freebie as soon as they fill out that particular form. And so you're going to want to have a different segment for each freebie that you have so that each segment can correspond to a particular form and then when they fill out that form they'll automatically be sent the freebie that um, correlates with the opt-in form. I hope that makes sense but if you have any questions you can always leave them in the comments below. So now I'll create the segment brand insight clarity checklist and click save and I'm going to change my title to Brand Insight Clarity Checklist. And now I'm keeping this very simple because you want your audience to focus on signing up for this freebie, whatever your freebie is. So you don't want too many distractions on the page. So I have my short description of the freebie where I've identified the problem that my audience is facing that their branding and website doesn't match their vision and I've stated why that's a problem and then what I've kind of hinted at what could be better and the solution that I offer a brand and a website that would help them accomplish their goals and then I have kind of positioned my freebie as a first step towards getting to that solution I said take the first step toward making your vision a reality by clarifying your audience, mission, and goals with this brand and website checklist. So you can use that as kind of a framework for what to include in your description. It doesn't have to be quite as long as mine. You could cut it down to maybe two sentences or have shorter sentences. Because again, you just want to minimize distractions and help them get to signing up for the freebie. And so then the only two fields that I have is their first name and their email address. That's all I need to send them the freebie. And then it says download your free guide. I'm going to change this to send me the checklist because once they subscribe and they're tagged in that specific segment they'll automatically receive an email with the checklist and then it says um Flowdesk automatically had this statement under here your information is 100% secure and will never be shared with anyone you can unsubscribe at any time so I'm going to leave that there and then I'll change this color of my button. I'm going to change the fill color of my button to this coral pink that's a part of my branding. And then I've changed the font to 
poppins and I'll change the color to white and I'm also going to change this heading to poppins if I can find it there we go and decrease the size a little there we go and change the font to my navy that's a part of my color palette and then lastly change my body text to poppins and I'll make that a little smaller but not that small and then I just want everything to match my brand so I'm going to change my font and the last thing I'm going to do is add a picture of the freebie just a little preview and I like the way that looks now I'm going to click message and it wants to know what message I want to show up once they filled out the form but since this is specifically a freebie opt-in I'm going to say thanks for subscribing to my email list and then I'm going to add a sentence about the freebie being on its way okay and that looks good I'm done building my opt-in form and so now let's click next it says should we enable double opt-in for this form and double opt-in is just when someone subscribes and then they have to confirm in the inbox that they want to subscribe I don't want to have people going through that extra step right now so I'm going to say no do not require confirmation and then click continue it says should we notify you when a new subscriber opts opts in and I want to be notified so I'll click yes and continue and what should happen after this form is submitted it wants to know do I want to display a success message or redirect subscribers to a URL I want to display the success so now my form has been published and it's giving me my URL I'm going to copy it and then if I open a new tab and paste in the URL, my freebie opt-in page comes up. Let's say that you saw something and you decide you want to make a change to your page. Let's go back to Flowdesk and all you do is click this back to customize button and then back to design. And I think I want to change my background color because my freebie is really blending in. That's a little too pink. But I like that gray and I'll just make these fields a little darker so you can still see them that looks good and now it brings me to my URL again this is the URL that you'll want to copy and paste into your web page wherever you're promoting your freebie it'll you'll probably be adding it to a button where they can click to go sign up for the freebie I have a quiz that I'll be adding to my website and I'm going to be having different freebies depending on what quiz result people get and once they get their result, they'll be able to click a button to get the freebie. And so I'm going to add my link to that quiz. But you can add yours wherever you need it for your business. Even if you wanted to put it right in your Instagram links in your bio, you could do that. So that's how you create an, a freebie opt-in page using Flowdesk. I actually have two video tutorials up today. The other tutorial shows you how to build the email in Flowdesk that sends the freebie once you have your opt-in page ready. And so make sure to click over and watch that video as well. I'll leave the link in the video description. And again, if you need help creating freebies, there's a tutorial on creating a checklist freebie using Canva in the description as well. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Subscribe for new tutorials every Friday. And thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.